Hello everyone, um, good day, and welcome to Vrykish Music Training. So, uh, so in, the, in, the, in, our, in our last class, we were talking about, um, we, we did everything on scales. Yeah. So we finished everything on scales. I taught you everything about scales, right? And I told you that you should go, um, sh you should practice, because without practice, uh, there's no how you can come to perfection. You have to rehearse everything I've shown you. You have to keep practicing. You don't stop rehearsing. Practice all your skills on the key of C. You want to skill number still on the key of C. So while, while, while I was teaching you on the key of C, it's because it's for you to practice it so that on your own you can practice, you can you can rehearse it on you know by, by you can rehearse it on by yourself on other keys. You get so it's once you know it on key C, that that settles it. You now start practicing it on other keys by yourself. So it's not actually hard. It's something you need to know for a key. Just know it in a particular key. Then you transpose or you transfer the states to other keys. The only thing that you need to learn in other keys is that the right the right finger placement. You need to just learn the right finger placement. That is all. You can actually do it up by yourself in other keys. I can put you through. So I want us to finish everything on key C. Then we'll move to key C sharp. Key C sharp. Then later we'll move to F. And then we'll move to G, F sharp. Then G. These are the these are the these are the main key keys. These are, these are the main. Uh, these are the main keys. These are the main strong keys that one need to be familiar with. Your key C, key C sharp, your F, your F sharp, and then your G. But all that keys are all the keys are important too. Don't get me wrong. But these are the main keys that are very very more important and more that are the key keynotes. So okay, today so I'm gonna be showing you. We're gonna be doing chords. We're gonna be doing a lot of things today. So but I'll start with chords. You know the last time in our last video I was teaching you chords. You know. And I, I told you to go practice. Uh, you should watch the previous video so you can actually get familiar with what I want to show you. Because this thing I'm about to show you, I've done it before. I just want to remind you, then we'll move to today's topic. So we'll do chord. You know, this is key C. So remember we did a uh, chord formation. This is your chord 1. Chord 1 is made up of what? Your 1. This is 1. The killer of key C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. This is the key, killer of key C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So I declare of key C, right? So I we did the... Uh, so I'm learning the chord. This is chord one on key C. Chord one is do, mi, so. This is the root chord, chord one. Do, mi, so, root chord. Right? Do, mi, so is what? C, E, G. C, E, G. This is do, mi, so, right? This is chord one. So what will you play in your left? What what will you play in your left? What you play in your left is do so do. Oh, you either play together. Oh, do so do is what? C G C on the left. C G C. I already taught you this. You can go watch my previous video. Now I want to play this chord in a version. This is this is the root chord. So root chord. Some persons call it first inversion but me i will call it root chord so basically call it first inversion you can say first inversion or root chord any of them is actually correct so so what will be the second second inversion will be what me so do you take the second note me then me remember i told you that you hold your chord your one three five right i showed you in the previous video so go watch everything your one your your one three five this is why you hold your chord your finger one your thumb Three and then your five, your top, your pinky finger. So this, this, this second inversion will not be what. Remember, I said the second inversion and the third inversion. You can actually change the finger placement. So instead of when you can still hold like this. This is mi so do, mi so do. Second inversion, E G C. You like hold it like this if you're comfortable or like this. One. One two five, one two five, or you still you can still maintain your one three five if you're comfortable. But the beginning, the beginning, the root chord or the first inversion, you must hold it your one three five. So this one has no. This is how you must. This, this is how you must hold it. One three five. This is the principles. Then the second inversion is you either do one three five, you still hold your one three five, or you, you use your one three five, or you hold it. One, two, your finger, or use your finger. One, two, five. Do you get? Me, yeah, I like holding second inversion like this. I like this. One, two, five. So let's go. I told you this already. 
right? So. Remember, right? So you can do something like this. This chord one, oh. so what will be chord chord fa fa is la fa fa la do fa la do. When you hold your chord like this, this is a full chord. When you do fa la fa do fa for the left fa do fa, your right hand is going fa la do. So the, the notes are fa la do is uh, F A C F A C. So your one three five. Remember, I showed you one three five. What will be your one three five? Your left will be what? F C F F C F. That is fa do fa. So play second inversion. Second inversion is la do fa la do fa. You pick the la do fa. You pick the second. You pick the second note. You get. Hope you remember. All these things are my. You can go watch the previous video. The last video I was teaching you when I was coaching you on one more training. You can go watch those videos. I say everything is there. Explaining. I'm just giving you a reminder. So, so have. You see. So this. So I will do a reminder of chord one, chord four, and chord five. All that. Right. So you can do, right? So this is the third inversion. Third inversion is do fa la, do fa la. So you can play do fa. This do fa la. Instead of playing, after you play do, instead of playing fa ye, yeah, why don't you just play all the notes? Why don't you just play all the chords together? This is do, right? So you want to go to fa. Fa is fa la do. Right, so instead of jumping from here to here, why don't you just play the third inversion of fa? The third inversion of fa is do fa la. So you can actually play it, you can actually play it here. Third inversion is do fa la, you can actually play it do fa la. You see, it's so you have to play your. Right, did you get it? So I'm playing the root chord for C, the root chord for C, which is Do, the root chord for C. I'm playing the 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 uh, the root chord for C uh, for Do mi so, which is C, and then the the root chord is first inversion, and then I'm playing the the uh, what's it called the um, the the third inversion of the third inversion of of Fa. I'm playing in one play. Okay, so let me give you chord five. 